In this week's episode, we're on Morton Island. We're going to see heaps of stuff. We're going down to the gutter bar. We're going to Yellow Patch. We're going to the lighthouse. We're going all around east, west, south, north, everywhere on Morton. Come along for the journey. This place is magnificent. And this is the Cayenne Cayenne Bypass. This takes us around the back. There is, if you keep going up the beach, there's a sharp little turn that we got bogged at the last time. So we, uh, we learned our lesson. So this time it's, there's a shortcut first, which we've taken. So this will pop us out on the northern side of Cayenne Cayenne. Cayenne. And we'll continue our journey up to find our campsite. So we're camping this time in the north western camp zone which is um up around Combroyo point i think i'm saying that right i hope i'm saying that right so we've got a beachfront site so when we get up there um it's first and best dress hopefully we'll get a nice site and we'll get back to you when we're setting up right so here we are we're on just north of cayenne cayenne we find ourselves a, a nice little campsite so what we're thinking the plan is there's a bit of a Obviously the beach has come up here and eroded the sand away a bit. So we're going to dig away a bit of this ledge. I'm going to drive up and reverse up to the back. And j Dog in the Taj Mahal is going to come in in the front here. So we're going to put you on a time lapse and see how much stuffing around this is going to be to get us in. because there's a very high tide tonight, 2.5 meter tide, and we had to move the cruiser because I don't know if you can see that, but it was literally about to go into the water. This is the campsites right here. And absolute beachfront camping. We don't want to be this beachfront it's getting close. We've ended up camping just north of Cayenne. Cayenne. Uh, Combroyo Point is kind of about two k's north of us here. This was the only camps that we could find. We rolled the time lapse yesterday of us trying to get in. It was an absolute mission to get into this campsite, but we managed to do it. We broke my winch in the in the meantime, trying to get the camper trailer put into. But this is kind of where we've ended up. So I showed you last night where the tide came up to. It was right up to the wheel of the cruiser. Um, Jason's car also got water up to his tire sides. So yeah, it was a pretty high tide, but this morning we've woken up. This is this is the campsite. Pretty bloody good. Got a rainbow to greet us too, look at that. And uh, yeah, north up that way is Cumbroyal Point and Bulwark. So today's plan is we're going to head down. We got to pick uh, Emily up from the from the boat at about nine thirty uh, from the MyCat. We're going to go pick her up, and then I think we're just going to go for a little bit of an explore because the weather today is not amazing. It's going to be a bit showery all day. So we'll pick Emily up and we'll head across the island. Maybe go to the east coast, head up to the lighthouse, maybe maybe down to the gutter bar. Not sure. And. Uh, Today we'll get the fire going and get a few things cooked up on the fire later on, so it's going to be a good day.
the Mount Tempest walking track now, so it's just off Middle Road and up uh, about a two or three k track. So we've parked the cars up, and there's a few other people here today by the look of it, but we're heading up this way um, to Mount Tempest. So let's see what is up here. Literally come to a crossroads. Do we go one k that way and get back to the cars faster than other stuff? Yay! Or do we go <laughs> two and a half hours one way? I've actually not been in this part of Morton before. Every time I've been here before, we've kind of just, this road's off the middle track. We've never come up here. We've gone to the desert and tried the sandboarding and stuff. Oh, we've gone across to the Eastern Beach. Never came up here. And the, one of the reasons we did today is because we had to pick Em up from the boat and the MyCat um, just off high tide, an hour, two hours before high tide. So we've got to wait it out anyway, so might as well explore. I'm seriously out of breath. So that was a pretty steep climb up the last wee bit. There was a lot of steps. We've all made it. And it's been rewarded by this magnificent view. So we can see Brisbane over here. We can see down to Stratty that way. Up this way, we see Cape Morton and the lighthouse. Um, and then through to Bribey Islands over here. Just a cool spot. So this is called, there's a sign here somewhere, Mount Tempest or Mugar Bipo. Bipo? Bipo. Mount Tempest is where we are. If you get a chance, definitely come up here. Uh, it's quite windy today, but it's, yeah, the breeze is nice because it is quite a steep walk. We're here at the lighthouse, Cape Morton Lighthouse. There's a bit of a visitor center here, and then the lighthouse is. Oh, just there. So we're gonna head up now. Another bit of walking, definitely getting the step count up today. And check the lighthouse out. It is as windy as you like today. At least it's not too hot. yellow patch and uh, then we're going to try and get out onto this spit here and head north up to North Point we might pull up there and uh, have a bit of lunch along the inland track. This track is called uh, Boulevard North Point Road. We're heading along it. So this should pop us out down here another couple of K. We'll come to a Y junction. We'll chuck it right and that'll take us back into Boulevard and from there we can jump back out onto the beach and head south to the campsite and get the fire lit and start cooking some food. We're back at the campsite, it's a couple hours later, uh, sun's going down, the weather has just turned it on, Morton Island is fantastic. So tonight we're having a big cook up, the wits are doing the pork roast, we're going to do pork belly like we did on Stratty for Shano's 50th, and we're going to do a fire to fork recipe, Harry has uh, done a cheese bomb which we're going to try and replicate too. Meanwhile we're all doing it on the beach like this, fire's going, everybody's loving it it's gonna be a good night so we are gonna have our food and we will see you in the morning
Day three, morning, tide. Wasn't as bad last night. Um, where we had the fire, which you wouldn't have seen because we cooked pork and stuff, but we had the fire just down here behind the car and the tide came in and extinguished it for us and put it out and took all the wood away for us too, so it's clean. A few things going on this morning. Over this way, we've got, we've got pancakes happening. Yeah, in the bag. What sort of pancakes are they? Um, Great Mullet and Island pancakes. <laughs> Just plain. Plain pancakes. <laughs> We've encountered a little bit of a drama. So the fridge, <laughs> which goes in there, the slide, the pop rivets have all on top themselves. So we've got a little bit of running repairs to do. And the only thing I could find to do it, as I had in the tool bag, I had some of these sheet metal screws. They're a bit big and overkill, but I think we can make them work. And fixed. Got a fully functional fridge again. This morning was a bit showery. A few showers came through. It's now nearly two o'clock. High tide was at 11.30, so uh, we've got the rest of the afternoon low. So suns came out, can't come to Morton, not go to the gutter bar. So we're heading through the inland track now around the back of Coyan. That'll pop us out in the beach, down towards Tangaluma, out on the middle road, Eastern beach, down the gutter bar. We'll have a beer there. And then on the way back, there's an oyster farm we want to call in at, have an oyster or two. Then we'll come up the Western beach, around the back of Tangaluma, back to the campsite. Let's go. So these inland tracks are fairly well formed and they're a little bit corrugated, but they're not too bad if you take them at the right speed. Um, this bypasses the caravan park that is a Coyan Coyan. Um, if you're towing a big trailer or, or anything on the back, you might want to take the first cutting from the beach uh, north. You don't want to take the second one because it is quite a sharp right angle turn that pops you back out on the beach that you might not want to tackle with a trailer on board. Beautiful. And we're back on the beach. How good's that? For a beautiful sunshine day, we might have had a snag. There might be a little bit of rain. So we're about halfway down the west coast, heading towards Karingo to the gutter bar, and uh, yeah, the rain's turned it on for us. That's all right, we'll get the car horse. So we'll head inland shortly anyway, through these microbes. And we'll see you in Karingo. Here we are at the Oyster Farm. So if you're going to come to Morton, you have to come to the gutter bar. It is sensational. We just had chips and calamari. That was wonderful. So that was a gutter bar. We're going to head back up now to camp because uh, it's about an hour and a bit travel. And we're it's, a, it's quarter to four now. Sunsets at 5:20 tonight. So we need to get going and get back to camp. Maybe have a cold beer when we get there too. been using the HEMA maps the whole trip and um, it's been really cool and finding 
like tracks down the back of the beach so we're on this one here now that um, the Hema found it so yeah that's if I zoom in on this oops zoom in Richard you can see this track that we're on now is um in behind the beach and you know obviously we might have found it anyway but just with the Hema it's so easy very impressed with that fishing day today we're heading back to yellow patch to uh, see if well not me but the rest of them can catch some fish we've got some bait and we're just going across the uh, track from Boulevard to yellow patch at the minute I'll pop the drone up and you can see just kind of where we are and where we're going it's a cool really white sand road and we'll see it over at yellow patch we'll throw a line in ourselves a little posy and uh, set up for the afternoon should be good looks like we'll find our posy might be just here so that is the end of our Morton trip I hope you've enjoyed it we have had an absolute ball we've just got my camper trailer pulled off this kite just got to get Jason's now and um, we're going to have to do a little bit of winching to push it around a bit just to get the, the car onto the tow ball. But apart from that, we are done. So thank you again for watching. Please remember to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.